Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a new special energy card. Remember at the moment in the Pokemon trading card game, they are in the middle of giving each type of Pokemon their own special energy. Well, the good news is we've got to the water one. And no pressure new water energy, but that new splash energy, or the old splash energy, did basically let you recover an entire water Pokemon line when it was KO'd. It was great in Greninja deck, so... We've got fairly high hopes for this one. Let's hope they can be met. Now, our translation today comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet. I did actually translate this one myself on Google Translate, but I did have it ever so slightly wrong, and I didn't have the name of the card, and let's face it, I'm not posting this without checking with Antoine first. It is Wash Water Energy, and it reads, While it is attached to a Pokemon, this card provides one Water Energy. And it is actually important to note that it is water energy on any Pokemon, unlike something like the old Splash energy, which would only work on water Pokemon. And when it is attached to a water Pokemon, you prevent all effects of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks except damage done to the water Pokemon this card is attached to. It prevents all effects of attacks other than damage. That is good, ladies and gentlemen. That is really, really nice. It's Big Parasol. It just is. This is literally Big Parasol as an energy card. We've talked about Big Parasol before. It is an item card that you attach to a Pokemon. And Big Parasol, when it is attached to your active Pokemon, you prevent all effects of attacks done to that Pokemon. Although existing effects are not removed, damage is not an effect. I do like how on Big Parasol they have literally said damage is not an effect, just to stop people arguing that it might be. So we've got Big Parasol as an energy card. The question is, is it going to see any play? And Big Parasol has not seen a huge amount of play. Now we do at this stage need to remember that this is a special energy, and there are reasons not to play it. Frostmoth is a water Pokemon that attaches as many water energy from your hand to your benched water Pokemon as you like during your turn. But this isn't a basic water energy. And in fact, when it's in your hand, it isn't even a water energy. So that doesn't work. Capacious Bucket lets you search your deck for two water energy and put them into your hand. But again, this is not a water energy in your deck, so it can't be searched out with Capacious Bucket. And Nessa lets you put... Four in combination of water Pokemon and water energy from your discard pile into your hand. But this doesn't count because it's not a water energy in your discard pile. Being a special energy, you can search it out with Guzma and Haller, and that's kind of cool. Interestingly enough, you could search this and a big parasol out. So there we go. One important note between this and big parasol... Tall Scrapper is a thing now, and one of the things we noticed at the Players' Cup this past weekend, we saw players absolutely abusing tools all weekend long. We saw things like Metal Goggles absolutely just turning matches on their head by just stopping damage that couldn't be gotten rid of. Expect to see, and Tall Scrapper always used to be a one-of index. It came back around in Rebel Clash, and basically the player base as a whole, most of them anyway, went, ah, it ain't as good as it used to be. We don't need it. Well, I think the Players' Cup this weekend has made a whole bunch of people go, yeah, mate, we need to start playing Tall Scrapper again. Which means that Big Parasol is going to be at odds. And this is not. This new energy, this wash water energy isn't. Sure, your opponent can play the Giratina from Unified Minds, which will remove a special energy. But they've got to be playing the Giratina from Unified Minds and give up a bench space. Which is far less likely than Tool Scrapper, which I do believe is going to become a one-off in basically every deck moving forward now. Because it's a difference between winning and losing games sometimes. So you know what? That's kind of cool. I do like it more than Big Parasol. It's one of those cards that's weird and awkward to talk about. Because we look at it and go... It is just a special energy version of a tool card. Now admittedly we are early. We are very, very early. In the Darkness of Blaze legal format. 
But the fact remains that Big Parasol is really not getting a, a huge amount of love. It's not seen a huge amount in play in those Japanese decks I've been showing you. But we can look at history and go, yeah, actually this could be huge. I mean, this reminds me very, very much of Unknown G. Now, Unknown G was... We, we had a re really good line of Unknown back in the Diamond and Pearl era. And Unknown G was a Pokemon that you could attach as a tool. We've seen that a few times. And it prevented all effects of attacks other than damage. And at the time, we had Machamp from Stormfront. And Machamp from Stormfront for a single energy got an instant one-hit KO on any basic Pokemon. And basic Pokemon were big back then. I mean, we had a whole bunch of stuff like Garchomp C level X that would literally... Was a, it was a level up Pokemon, a level X Pokemon, but it counted as a basic, so Dex had to rely on this. And we're not in that format at the moment. We're not there. But we are in a format where you can protect yourself from a whole bunch of other stuff, and that could be pretty good. Now, we've been comparing to Big Parasol. There's been a note on the screen, just to be super clear about this. It is a single Pokemon protection, as opposed to Big Parasol, which will protect all of your Pokemon, but only in the active. Which means, of course, if you've got a Pokemon with Big Parasol in the active, and your opponent plays Fiona, for instance then all of a sudden, all of your Pokemon lose that protection. Whereas this, you attach to a Pokemon and they gain the protection. And according to Antoine's translation, and we have no reason to disbelieve this because Antoine's translations are awesome, we also have a situation here where we're protected on the bench. So Pokemon like Dragapult, the one here, drop damage counters on the bench. Not onto Pokemon with this attached. Or Blacephalon. Not onto Pokemon with this attached. That's kind of a bonus. So it does protect you from that, which is very cool. Any damage counters being dropped, you will be protected from. Any energy removal, something like, oh, I don't know, let's say Torkoal. And, I mean, to be fair, if you're playing this in a water deck, you're probably hitting Torkoal for weakness and crushing it anyway. But Torkoal's a good example of a Pokemon that discards a couple of energy. You'll be protecting against that very nicely. So that goes away. Special conditions. If your opponent's trying to slow you down by inflicting special conditions, you will stop them right in their tracks with this, which is very, very cool. Something like a Raichu and Alolan Raichu coming in trying to get Paralysis won't get Paralysis. Although, again, if they're a Lightning deck, you're playing a Water deck, you're likely to be being hit for weakness here, so I wouldn't get too excited about that unfortunately <laughs> but hey ho so we got special conditions we've got energy removal we've got instant ko's all of this is going to be protected here and that's kind of awesome Yes, it is basically just big parasol as a water energy, but it's not vulnerable to tool scrapper and it appears to work on the bench. So there's two reasons straight off the bat why it's better. There are going to be Frostmoth decks that don't want to play it, purely because of the awkwardness of it not being a basic. But having said that, we could have said the same thing about Heat Fire Energy, because it cannot be attached with Welder, it can't be recovered with Fire Crystal, it can't be searched out from the deck with Giant Half. But having said that, if you look at the Players' Cup and those Center Scorch decks that were doing quite well, oh look, they're playing Heat Fire Energy. It gives them an extra 20 HP, it's a great card. Is this as good as that? Maybe not. But having said that, this is not necessarily a card just for today. When I look at this today, I look at it and go, well, it's no Unknown G because Unknown G was huge. But Unknown G was only really huge because of Machamp from Stormfront. So the point I'm making here is that actually, even if this isn't a card you love now, even if you're not seeing a huge amount of uses now, and I've shown you special conditions, energy removal, etc. There are plenty of reasons to play this. But even if you don't want this now, there are plenty of cards in the future that are going to be stopped by this. And one of them could be an absolute game changer. And that will make us think very, very differently about this card. For now, I'm giving this between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. But this is one of those cards where even if you don't love it now, 
Keep an eye on this because things are going to change in the future. But I'd like to know what you think. And I'd like to know which Pokemon and which attacks, etc. you're going to be looking to protect yourself from using this. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, or you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.